Hello, I'm Firoz Adu, team lead of Braku Mongolduri. I'm delighted to welcome you to our SA review of ERC 2020. Our team is composed of 40 undergraduate students divided into 8 sub-teams. These are Mechanical, Design, Electronics, Communication, Software, Science, Management and Publications. We have mainly focused on the ARM-based movement this year. Our newly designed and implemented arm base can rotate 360 degrees with the help of a warm gear system. We have a modified rocker bogey suspension system for handling the extreme terrain. We have used a powerful warm gear motor in the wheel which allows us to climb steep slopes and over obstacles. The custom gripping system we have used will give extra traction on slippery terrain. Our stainless steel made chassis is powerful, lightweight, easily available and can be changed easily. We organized a mock setup for extreme retrieval, where allowing with retrieving objects like screwdrivers, pliers and toolbox, we also practiced pulling a toolbox by a rope laid flat on the ground. Data flows from and to the base station using 2.4 GHz Ubiquiti Rocket M2 paired with a directional antenna. The rover is installed with a Ubiquiti Bullet M2 paired with an omnidirectional antenna which ensures data connectivity for around 1 km. 5.8 GHz FPV system consisting of FPV cameras are used. The prime upgrade we are introducing this year is the easy installation of circuit box. Additionally, we have added reverse polarity circuit protection. And for equal power consumption, a centralized power system has been implemented. This year we have focused on smooth and ergonomic control of the rover. A multifunctional joystick is being used for smooth PWM control of the wheels. A user-friendly interface has been developed for EGI control of the rover. Additionally, we are using key mapping for manipulating the arm and working on the inverse kinematic algorithm. The autonomous task has been accomplished using an advanced autopilot system integrated with image processing and obstacle avoidance. An STM-based processor guides the rover to the assigned waypoints with the help of GPS, compass and accelerometer. To detect the air tags, we have used contour detection and homography through OpenCV. Obstacles are avoided with the help of a LiDAR sensor. Additionally, three indicator LEDs has been installed on the rover visible on daylight. In order to turn our rover into an automatic planet analyzer, we have designed the science task in such a manner that it can collect environmental data, detect biosignature and water trace. An excavator claw is used to dig samples at depth of 20 cm. The sample is then poured into two separate funnels. One takes the sample and conducts phosphorus, potassium, nitrogen and amino acid test for determining soil properties and biosignature in the other. A water capillary biomass or microscopy test is conducted. We are employing a sensor box equipped with various gas and soil sensitivity sensors for detecting planetary conditions that gives real-time data through a customized GUI. This time we have designed our task for multiple sample analysis. For equipment servicing, we have made a dummy setup where we practice tasks like pushing toggle switches, pulling drawers and pressing keyboards using a two-finger claw. We have approached several companies for sponsorship and perform promotional activities on social media. Also, we have participated in multiple tech exhibitions and took robotics workshops. <laughs>